telegraphing, not even the punch, but what you're doing. So if you notice, uh, there's just we were just using a two punch combo on that, either a cross or a rear hook. But after each punch and before each punch, Tano's hands were here and they stayed there. So you always want to stay in true boxing stance. You always want to stay in true boxing stance, but you knew that. So the deal with this is hands up, elbows in, knees bent, chin down. That's true boxing stance. Before every punch or a combination and after every punch or a combination. So what will happen is guys will, or fighters boxing MMA, doesn't matter, they'll get in this rhythm where they're, and you're supposed to be up on your toes, but their hands drop. They do this number. So if you're burst enough, you're going to time that and touch them in the face real good. Or when it goes up high, you can touch them in the body. And if you don't notice it, if the fighter doesn't notice it, hopefully your coach is good enough to where he's picking it up on it. And if you don't get him that round, you'll get him the next round. But the gist of the whole thing is, even though you're on your toes bouncing, your hands stay, hands up, elbows in. And you'll get a lot of guys, they start doing this, or both their hands will come down, both the hands come up. And it's easy to time. A lot of times they'll, they'll start doing this when they step, one will drop, when they step, one will drop. So all you need to do, if for example, if he does it once, he's gonna do it twice. If he does it twice, he's gonna do it three times. And you can answer off that every time. So say for example, if I go to step out and I'm doing that same thing, I'm here on this, I step out and I drop that hand, yeah, Tanner, my opponent's gonna, uh, if he's good, is gonna capitalize on that, on that and then they're gonna put me down. So once again, so say I'm here and I'm doing this and he sees me doing this. Okay, I go to step out, boom, and he's gonna time it and put it right on my chin. So now I'm gonna go back to what I was saying, you're always in true boxing stance. So if I'm here and still moving, and if I step out I'm, and he throws that hook, I'm covered. No harm, no foul. So this, this drill, or this concept, is for both offense and defense. When you're moving, when you're moving, keep those hands up, elbows in. Because if you start a fight here, your hands are going to drop to here. If you start a fight here, your hands are going to drop to there. So get used to, as long as it's basically covering the, the chin, the jawline, you're okay like that. But hand, true boxing stance, always true boxing stance. So say for example, you throw a three, three piece combo. One, two, three. When I get done, I'm in my true boxing stance. Hands up, elbows in, knees bent, chin down. That's true boxing stance. So one more time. Tanner's gonna throw me a three piece combo right now. Jab, cross, hook. Bop, bop. Ah, let's go front hook. Jab, cross, front hook. Bop, bop, bop. One more time. And when he gets done, he's in true boxing stance. Before he threw that combo, he was in true boxing stance. And when he gets done, he's in true boxing stance. So that's the key. You always want to be here. You're safe. This is home. You're good. When you're in that ring, when you're in that cage, or when you're in sparring, that's like being at work. You're on the clock. Boom. You checked in. So when you're at work, this is how work is here. It's not here. It's not any of this stuff. Whatever. Your hands up, elbows in, knees bent. So with that said, if you didn't know, I know.